with you. You're a kind soul. Southeast corner of Maxwell and Clinton. Cat and tree. You'd better get that windshield fixed. Yeah. Fifty bucks? Yeah, I... Sorry, I must have left my change at home. It'll be a pleasure, Mr. Rockefeller. 32, 32. Pick up your hot sheets. Attention, all cars. A stolen car. A black 47 Lincoln sedan. This car stolen from the River Club within past hour. License plate. 1N9319. Repeat check. License plate 1N9319. That's it. Treachery of women. Ah! Do not ask for whom the bell tolls. It tolls for thee. That's a musician's idea of love. Mom, you know... Oh. Ah! Please, Victor, please. There he goes with that bell again. It's got to stop. Anything I can't stomach is a noisy drunk. Husbands of the world, awake! Awake! Oh, Victor, Victor, love me, Away! And nothing but a tragic eggshell. Nothing but glue. Joe, where have you been all night? Did you get the ticket? Ticket? Yeah. We got the ticket all right. But he drank your change. Where am I going? Yokohama. Where? Yokohama in Japan. You said the first boat. That's what I meant. Joe. What? Why are you going? We helped to win a war, didn't we? I want to see what we won. Hey, I could use a little soap and water here. Huh? Joe, before you go, you must hear this. A tone poem. These two hands have created a farewell elegy for the pure in heart. For Leo Christopher, my sweet brother, destroyed, vanished, because he refused to set you out while you were gone, Joe. You, his friend and partner. 
of spectators, which gives her my nomination for the Woman of the Year. Some people never sleep. Now stand by for today's headline, the inside story of one of the most sensational holdups in nightclub history. A lone bandit gained entrance to the heavily guarded river club, swank playground of the gambling fraternity, and held up the cashier while the clientele played on. Was it a bandit? This reporter says no. The inside story is that a former owner suddenly came back to town only to discover that the mob had taken over his river club. Early this morning, he held up the cashier. It will be a miracle if they find the guy. And his first name is Joe. Take a tip from me, Joe. Protect yourself. Get yourself an army. Now a word from my sponsor. Why should you have to steal your own money, Joe? It was yours, yours and Leo's. You own the River Club. They'll never look for you here. If they do, I won't be here. I'll be on my way. I'll be on... Hey, wait a minute. This boat doesn't sail today. Oh, no, Joe, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? Two days and a night. What am I gonna do for 36 hours? Oh, I'm sorry, Joe. That's the best I could do. That's not your fault. Oh, stay here, Joe. Well, you forget your Leo's brother, well, they'll remember. Maybe they won't. Maybe he isn't good enough for me. No, I'll think of something. I think it's something. Who is it? The police. Open up. Yes, what is it? Open the door and we'll be glad to tell you. But what is it? Come on, lady, open the door. Open the door. You're in the with the law. Just one moment, please. Come on, if you open the door, we'll have to break it down. Come on, come on, come on. One moment. I'm having trouble with this lock. Come on now. Andre, they're closed. All right, Miller. Start searching. Lively now. No flim flams. All right. It's all over, my boy. What seems to be the trouble? What seems to be the trouble is you, and plenty of it. Ah, uh, my boy, it's the long arm of the law. You can't escape it. All right, now. Hand it over. What? You know what. Where is it? Where is what? The bell. The blasted devilish bell. Now hand it over. Oh, the bell? Yes. Oh. Let me handle it my way, oh. Sarge. You'll tell me where now, it is. Steady, Miller. We represent the law. Have you no humanity? Your fellow citizens needing their sleep. And you ringing that bell and playing that music. And in all my 29 years on the force, I don't mind telling you I've met some fine and mighty loonies and loafers, but never the likes of you. The police have more important things to attend to than chasing after a lazy loafer, ringing bells and playing that music, fit to stir up the sleeping dead and beating away on your poor morsel of a wife. Do you know what you need? What you need is a... little understanding? Is it the social worker again? Come in, Miss Jones, come in. I'm in, Sergeant. Am I too late? Positively, he's under arrest. That makes even less sense than usual, Sergeant. This man isn't a criminal. He's a menace to the community. Why, you he... You see, Mr. Christopher, if you'd listened to your wife and come to me to talk things over, this wouldn't have happened. All right, Christopher, let's get going. Oh, you can't take him. Shut up. Uh, darling? Arrest doesn't solve these problems. It never has. Disturbing the peace of the charge. A night in the hoose for you. Huh. That'll hush things up around here. Now, is that the Christmas spirit? To take a man away from his wife on Christmas Eve? That's tomorrow night. If he behaves himself, he'll be out by then. Judge Fuller is a very busy man. I'd hate to bother him. Would you do that to me again? Yes, I certainly would. Let's take him in, Sarge. Oh, no, no, Miller. None of that. Why, policemen don't arrest people anymore in this neighborhood. These are now matters for the Family Service Division of the Borden Street Settlement House. 
whose fine purpose it is to hold the family together. Isn't that right, Miss Jones? When possible. So you see, Miller, he isn't to blame. He's only a pitiful victim of society. Mr. Christopher, suppose Sergeant Garrett could see his way just this once to let you come and talk things over with me. How would that strike you? I'm a reasonable man. No doubt. But he's a wife beater. The lowest thing a man can do is beat his wife. Miller, my boy, are you married? No. Then skip it. Shall we say at 10.30 then? It's a date. Thanks, Sergeant. You're a sweet gent, a credit to the force. I'm a victim of society myself since Judge Fuller's wife joined the settlement work. I know. I know you know. Goodbye, Mrs. Christopher. Try not to worry too much. Remember, your appointment is at 10.30. Yeah, I'll remember. <laughs> Hello? Who? Joe Miracle there. Joe Miracle? We haven't seen him in years. Who's calling? It's time to blow. Where? I don't know. I've got to get out of here. The jail. The sergeant said one night in jail, didn't he? Well, where else could I find a safer place until the boat sails, huh? Scream! No, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got a better idea. Give me that. I don't know what's the matter with me, Sergeant, but when I get the urge, I've just got to ring that bell. But, Sergeant... No more social talk, miss. This time he's ours and you can't talk me out of him. Goodbye, my darling. Take care of things. And uh, until tomorrow night, bon voyage. Take me away, Sergeant. Come on. Listen, Sergeant, this I'm is... I'm sorry, Miss Jones, but you'll have to... So, he gets the urge sometime, night or day, and has to ring this bell? That's right, Your Honor. Ever since I was a kid. We have ways of curing such strange urges. How do you plead? Guilty, Your Honor. Very guilty. Ten dollars or... Just a minute, Judge Fuller. Ah, good morning, Jenny. Good morning. Mm-hmm. Sentence suspended. Defendant remanded to the custody of Miss Jenny Jones. But, Your Honor, now... Next case. But... Come on. How far is this place of yours from here? Next corner, to the right. Well, now, look, when we get down to that corner, suppose you go to the right, see? I go to the left, huh? I want to catch a boat. Uh, yeah, well, while you're catching that boat, you better take a look over your left shoulder. Well. So I spend the night with them. You'll spend 30 nights with them if they take you back now. 30? Sign looks fine, Alex. Thank you, Miss Jones. Check over this again, Mrs. Bennett. Good morning, Miss Jones. Good morning. You live at 3482 Maple Street, and the baby is three months old. <coughs> I'm sure we can help you. Would you mind waiting a few moments? This way, Mr. Christopher. You'll be more comfortable in here. I doubt it. Clara. Oh, Joe, where are you? Is everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. 
Look, I'm down at the settlement house. Will you bring me uh, the stuff and the garbage can down right away? Sure. Okay, I'll hang around till you get here. They go around scaring people? Oh, they usually scare me. There's a lot of big thoughts around here. What is this known as? The handwriting on the wall? Hmm? Among other things. Nice words. What do they mean? Just what they say. Once you've heard the people calling, you can never heed aught else. You believe all that? You don't. Words. What do you believe in, Mr. Christopher? Not words. Then what? Miss Jones, let's uh, count my beliefs among the missing, shall we? Just as you say. As good as new, honey. Good no more. <clears throat> Won't you sit down? Sure. What's troubling you, Mr. Christopher? I don't know. I know things have been difficult for you, but I want you to know that we can help you, and will. You're a musician. Uh, one of the greatest. The last time you worked was over two years ago. You what? According to your wife. Oh, yes. Why do you beat her? I beat my wife because I love her. Were you ever beaten by someone you love? No, not you. Every night, she wakes the neighbors. Suppose you hurt her, seriously. You can't hurt anyone you really love. Yes, you can. Don't ever hit anybody. With all your love, you may cripple her for life. Something you could never undo, something you'd regret. Don't hit anybody. Mr. Christopher, it's been our experience that when a man beats his wife, he's been drinking. Usually because he's out of a job. Well, we'll find a job for you. It may take a day or so. A day or so, that's my problem. You see, I, I can't bear to face her when I'm not working. Well, you could spend a few days here with us. Would that help? You mean sleep here, too? Yes. You could help the kids with their music, their orchestra. Well, now, don't worry. I, I make myself very, very useful. Good. You can begin by bringing these Christmas decorations into the gym. Having another. I know, yes. There you are, $14 even. 
Now, the truck won't be here for a little while. You boys don't mind waiting, do you? Oh, no, Mr. Jones, of course not. And Yonzi. Yeah? Uh, would you ask Mr. Bendow to give you a nice large tree? Like last year's would be fine I'll if... Leave it to me. Hey, mister, I'd like to talk to you. You're talking? Short-term investment. A sure thing. What's your story? His big brother's a jockey. How much will it take? It'll take about 50. 50 cents to swing it. Where can you make it better around here? You know the piano store down the block? Yeah. Well, it ain't no piano store. It ain't? No, there's a back room. Oh, what do you say? Race goes in eight minutes. Take a look at the good odds. Here's a buck. Make us both rich. Don't go away. For real, yeah? Yeah. After you. Thank you. I can shoot two bucks. All right. Get my money out of here. How much did you say? Two, two bucks. bucks. Two bucks. There we go. Hey, can I shoot first? You... Oh, no, no, no. He gets to shoot first. Well, I'd like to. High roll shoots first. Right. Five. Yeah. <laughs> Six. Yeah. Seven. Hey, you're lucky. Uh, shoot the fort, yeah? Yeah. Shoot. You all through, fellas? Percentage didn't have a chance. You had a roll of five? Don't tell me. I know. It's not ours. You should have thought of that before you started. It's for the Christmas tree, okay? For the party. Yeah. What's so special about a tree? The woods are full of them. Oh, 
uh, Miss, do you know Mrs. Christopher when you see her? Yes. Well, isn't she here? I mean, hasn't she been here? No, not today. I see. Okay, thank you very much. Chester, you've got to be I'm reasonable. I'm sorry. Don't you just can't. I'm sorry. Well, that cheap and cheesy phony baloney. i never seen it. Come on. States in order to form a more pleasant union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Your wife is here. Who? Your wife. Oh, I was just trying to reach her on the phone. You may use my office. Thank you. What happened? We have visitors. A man named Rainey. Yeah, I know, I know, but what happened? They were asking about you. What did they find out? Nothing. What did they find? Nothing. I brought them with me. How'd you do it? I took the garbage down. Yeah. I checked on the boat. It sails tomorrow night at 8. Can you stay here until then? I'm gonna have to. They'll be looking for me every place else. Besides, I'm kind of getting to like it here. Yeah. Oh, no, come Joe. On, come on, take it. Oh, no, Joe, you're a friend. All right, you never refuse a friend, do you? Oh, please, I... Come on, take it. It's only garbage. How's Victor? Don't worry about him. He'd never tell him anything. I won't. Joe, you're a king, the best. Coming. Oh, it's great. It's fine. All done with it? Um, no. Uh, no, not quite. Oh, no? No hurry.
harmonica music really gets me. But what's wrong with this tree? This tree belongs to the city. I know, but officer, is this a Christmas spirit? No, and this is not a Christmas tree. It ain't. No, look. Holy smokes. It was dark. Kids. Now, you were a kid once, officer, after all. You... Well... Sure, you must have been a kid. Now, wait a minute. Whether I was ever a kid or not doesn't make any difference. Okay, 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 you can have the tree. But if I ever catch you in trouble again, yes, you. I'll make it so tough on you. You'll wish you'd never been born. Yourself? No, but I really put my foot in it this time, didn't I? It may be funny to you, but it's the only piano we have. Well, it was just an accident, Miss An Jones. accident? Yes, like gambling with the boys and taking the Christmas tree money away from them. Now, Miss Jones. Miss, wait a minute. What's he doing down here? Never saw him before. You know him? I know him. 
trouble? Worse. You better see what he wants. Something I can do for you? You sell pianos here? What else? How much did you get for this one? For you, $600. Go ahead. A good, strong piano? All my pianos are strong. Well, maybe you have some stronger ones in the back room. Uh, this is the piano for you, pal. The strongest. Guaranteed for three years. You think you'll be in business that long? Uh, down at the district attorney's office, Now, we wait a minute, pal. Let's talk this over. I'm sure we can straighten everything out. You wouldn't be trying to suggest... Uh... No, nothing like that. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I sure picked that eighth race tonight. Paderewski and Rachmaninoff. Mm hmm? Hmm. You are new on this beat, aren't you? Everybody knows I'm a good fella. Take this piano. What would I do with one of these? Anybody can use a piano. It's Christmas. I'll buy it from you. Well, you got enough pianos. I tell you what, since you're such a good fella, maybe they can use it around the corner. Come here. Tonight, Mr. Saratoga. It's from the DA's office. He shakes me down for a piano for a settlement house. What do you think? Oh, I think you better send it. You standing up there, I'm gonna help you. No, thank you. It's done now. I'd like to get down. You're doing fine. Come on, give me your hand, I'll help you. You'll help by getting off the ladder. You ought to climb ladders more often. Go ahead, move some more. You do something to close when you move. Don't talk that way to me. You're blushing. You don't get mad. I think you look great in that dress. What's the matter? Don't you like clothes? Of course. I wear them all the time. You know something? I'd like to see you in red silk. I'd like to see you on a dance floor, or in a motorboat, or on a diving board, high up. What's the point of all this? Fun. You ever hear of it? I hear you're a married man. I'm not asking you to marry me. What are you asking? I'm asking you to smile, Miss Jones. I am smiling. And I don't overdo it. Try it. You, you can't use it up, you know. Don't you believe me? I hardly know what to believe, Mr. Christopher. Always believe what you want to believe. This way, please. Jenny, the piano is here. What piano? I don't know, but it's here. Such a nice big one, too. Over here, please. Watch those legs, Doc. Are you sure you have the right place? Is this a Borden Street settlement? Yes. It's the right place. Take it easy, fellas. Who sent it? Fanny Claus. Okay, fellas, let's go. Must be some mistake. I know who must have sent it. It's that nice anonymous person who donated this gymnasium. Look, when somebody gives, take. When somebody takes, scream. That's an old Bulgarian proverb. Bulgarian, hmm? Very clever. My, what a lovely tree. So big. Well, time for bed. 
Good night, children. Good night, Miss Balmers. Good night. If we're to be of any help, there must be some honesty between us. Look, anything I tell you is on the level. Anything else is strictly your own guess. I don't like to guess. At any rate, it seems I owe you an apology. Not me. No, you don't owe me a thing. I mean about gambling with the boys. And... Oh, that. Well, uh, somebody has to teach those kids a lesson. Otherwise, they'd end up in the gutter. Besides, they ought to know better than to gamble with strangers. They know it now. What I wanted to say is thanks. Oh, don't thank me. Now, if I do anything for you, it's just because I'm, uh, well, I'm trying to get you to like me. You know, like you do with those kids. Only you're not a kid. That's right. I get you to like me, I'll make use of it someday. Miss Jones, how come you're not married? How come you get so personal? Well, you ask me personal questions. How come you don't smile more often? Good night. Good night. In my day, even the cows had more sense than humans have today. They knew what they had to do and did it. Back in Kierka Corners, the schools really taught you something. As sure as my name is Rickle, I'm going to have a talk with the mayor. I welcome friend. I'm going to tell him about my plan. I, I owe you an apology. Didn't it fit? Hmm? Oh, sure. Thanks. Glad to have it back. What is our system of education? Parsley on fish. That's all useless. Take my brother, a college man with six degrees, studied mathematics in all its forms, algebra, geometry, trigonometry, calculus, goes into a restaurant and gets shortchanged. They didn't teach him to think. With all his learning, he never saw a hundred dollar bill in his life. Friend, you look like an educated man. Could you tell us whose face is on a $1,000 bill? Grover Cleveland. Army style? That's right. Changed some since my day. I've always been a leader of men, always will. And let me tell you something else. I just can't wait for the bus stop. What's busting up? The whole entire shooting match. And I say good riddance. Gotta watch it. We better call on the carpenters before it's too late. That's what I'd do. I'd put everything in the hands of the carpenters. They'd rebuild. What do you do? I'm a carpenter. If I had my way... Where's my towel? You're using it, friend? Why, in the summer of 
ifs, ands, or buts. I'm telling you all for the last time. Lights out! I so wish they'd pass a the law against ignorance. Jones? Yes. Oh, hello. I'm looking for Joe Miracle. Who? Joe Miracle or Mirakoski. There's no one here by those names. Is he a client, a resident, or a staff worker? No, he's a big hunk of guy. One of a kind. Steel plate eyes. Dark. <laughs> the kind you'd remember. Who are you? Well, if you'll open this paper to page eight, column Suppose three. Suppose you four. tell me. Name's Bird, Early Bird. I'm an old friend. I'm sorry. I don't think I can help you. Oh, you're not even going to try, are you? We don't discuss clients. Is that what you call them? Oh. Sorry to have troubled you. Mr. Bird. This man. What did you say his name was? Joe Miracle. Thanks. You women. There's a new man upstairs in the dormitory. Tell him I'd like to see him in the morning at 9.30 in my office. Yes, Miss Jones. Take it easy, Buster. The day is young, but you're not. The new man's mattress, I find. I know. Did you tell him I wanted to see him this morning? Yes, Miss Jones. Where is he? He gets up very early this morning. I, I can't find him. I do wrong? No. No, I I'll take care of it. Thank you. I'm sure you've gone for good this time, and my chapeau with you. Oh, thanks. It's my pleasure. I've always had high-class people for friends. You know, uh, I had a big fight with my conscience about you last night. Who won? My conscience. I had to go to the bank to check. Grover Cleveland, it is. Sorry, I, I forgot you wanted to see me. Oh, don't stop. I like that clackety-clack. It has such a nice, clean, busy sound. Did they call today? Who? The people. No, not today. But somebody did call last night. Yeah? A man named Bird. He was looking for Joe Miracle. 
What'd you tell him? That we don't discuss clients. Thanks. I should have told him the truth. But you didn't. Why? Because last night I didn't know that Joe Miracle was carrying a gun. Now I know. What are you gonna do? Go away. Leave us alone. I felt something was wrong. I knew it from the beginning. The way you wanted to go to jail. Your heels were too good. Your teeth were too good. Your clothes. Everything about you was too good. Except you. Just because I carry a gun? What's the matter? You think I'm gonna use it? No, when you're not using this place as a hideout. Oh, what's the use? We'll never understand each other. Leave us alone. Leave me alone. Your trouble, it comes with your kind, like the color of your eyes. What do you mean, my kind? I'm not anybody's kind of anything. You're no good. How not would you know you... that? Everybody does the best they can, the best way they can. What's the matter? You think I was born with a 45 in my hand? What gives you the right to sit in judgment? When you were a kid, you probably had lace curtains on all the windows. You had to wash your lily white hands before you sat down to dinner. Shut up. Lace curtains on the window, that's what you think. I didn't need this till I was five. That's when my father hit me. He was tired and driven and he got drunk one night. He loved me and yet he hit me. And after that, he saved and scrimped for years to buy me this. And for those years, I lived in a silent world. I couldn't hear the sound of my own laughter. So I just didn't laugh. Now go, please. Go away, Joe Miracle. Sure. Yeah. Jenny, the delivery men are here. What delivery men? I don't know, but they're here. Better come and see. Excuse us, please. Why, so many towels. Is all oh. this for us? It ain't for me, lady. It is a privilege to share what we can spare at Christmas. Wilson Hotel. How awfully decent of them. Oh, my, yes. Yes, indeed. We must call them and thank them. Will you just sign this, lady? OK, boys, let's go. All right, get those empty crates out of here. Let's clear things up. Miss Jones, look at this. Jenny, something ghastly has happened. We must send those towels back immediately. I called the hotel manager to thank him, and he said the most dreadful things to me about the shameful tactics our solicitor used. Then he hung up. What solicitor? i never been so humiliated in my life. We must send them back. We don't want anything given in that spirit. We... Blankets. U.S. Navy. Stop those trucks. Stop them. Jenny. I don't think we ought to send anything back. Why, Susan. Well, I mean, as soon as we get our own, we'll return them. But we're not expecting any of our own. Well, how do we know? We didn't expect these. <laughs> well, that makes sense to me. But who could have done it? Who? If somebody gives, let's take. If somebody takes it. <laughs> An old Romanian proverb. Let's discuss it later, Mrs. Hangale. It's almost like a miracle. Last night, the piano, and today, the towels and blankets. Just what we needed the most. Jenny, look! Bathtubs. Everybody's doing the best he can in his own way. Victor Christopher. I was looking for a friend of yours. I never use him. 
He was a better friend of, uh, of your brother, Leo. Come on in. You knew Leo? I knew him. What happened? They ran him through a rock crusher. It's rumored he's now part of the Bayshore Drive. Why? He was stubborn. Why? The syndicate wanted the River Club, and he wouldn't get out. Not without his partner, Joe Miracle, who was too busy being the Purple Heart hero of the United States Army. What do you suppose made a guy like Miracle enlist? Maybe he was beating a rap. Nah. He was a patriot. So help me, the iron brain Pollock caught fire. Is there still a law against hitting a man with glasses on? That label always got you, didn't it, Miracle? You broke my pencil. They're looking for the guy that hoisted the river club. They're looking for you. Maybe they found me. I've forgotten I ever saw you. I'm a newspaper man. Newspapers need stories. Not from me, they don't. You've got it wrong, Miracle. I'm on your side. That's what bothers me. I'm looking to nail the syndicate same as you. Okay. Tell me who's selling them protection, the juice man. What's his name? What's in this for you? A story. What else, Bird? A little blackmail? A slow shakedown? Huh? This is your chance to get even with them for freezing you out of the club. For Leo. You know I'm not going to tell you anything. I know I'm going to get a story somehow. I'd like you to be around to read it. Let it soak for a while. Uh, I'll be back with a new pencil. There's a creep in every profession, isn't there? Miss Jones has gone out. Can I help? No, I just wanted to tell her something, that's all. Can you tell me? Tell her that I said goodbye. And I... That's all. Ask too many questions. Well, don't start now. Hmm? What do you get out of this? The settlement work. Hmm? Where's the payoff? Payoff? Yeah. I like my job. 
You believe that a few people like you can change, change this setup? I believe in hope. That's a poor man's disease. I was vaccinated against it when I was a kid. Hangale. Our Mrs. Hangale? That's right. Even one person can change things sometimes. For hundreds of families, the world's a better place to live in because one little old lady had an idea, a hope. Hangale, Jenny Jones. They weren't around when I was a kid. So didn't that used to be a junkyard? When was that? It was a long time ago, I guess. Bet you had a lot of fun playing in the junkyard. My father died there. Oh, I'm sorry. How did he die? With a sigh of relief. And you've never been back here since. What for? We can't help where we're born, but we can't help where we're gone. Where is that? Out of the gutter. I promised the old man. What time is it? anxious to get rid of me. Take care. Of what? Whatever you do, wherever you're going. Come with me. Sure. Come with me. I can't, Joe. I can't. Yes, you can. Now listen to I me. I can't listen to you. I don't want to listen. Don't. I want you to hear every word I say. I'm going to leave soon, and I want you to come with me. I can't, Joe. I can't run with you. Where and when would we stop? My, my life is here, my work. The Christmas party tonight, I, I've got this errand to do. Then let's do it now. Come on. Yes, yay, Marge. He wants to know if I'm your husband. Ask him where the diapers are. Yeah. Uh, look, Pan. Uh, Jessica Mokra. Uh, Jeb. Yeah. Yeah. Nima. There aren't any. That all right? Mm -hmm. Must you go? Yeah. Will you come back? I want to come back. I hope so. Hey, Miss Jones, the people are calling. It's feeding time. Get that phone kid quiet. I'll come down there and do it myself. That racket's got to stop if I have to call a cop to do it. Come on, come on, come on. Shut up! You go ahead and cry if you want to. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, let's hear it.
you do this all the time? No, only when it needs doing. Get back in there. I don't want you to get tangled up in this. I'm staying with you. Look, will you do what I tell you to do? Get back in there with the old man and hang on to this. What's in it, Joe? That's the future, Jenny. That's the stone wall I built between me and the gutter. Does it belong to you? Sure. Be careful, Joe. I'll be all right, just so they don't get their hands on this. I found you. I don't think I'd like losing you. What'd you say? I said... Picked a fine time, didn't we? Get going. We're going to have company in a minute. Stay where you are, Joey boy. Come down slow. Hello, Muggles. Mr. Rainey. He's clean. Come on, let's go. What are we doing here? Be nice, Joe. We caught you. Now go in and bring it out. It's stashed away uptown. Save in the, the chatter, Miracle. We know it's right here in the settlement house. We twisted Mrs. Christopher's arm into a goulash. Don't get sore, Joe. Tina gave orders. You know how it is. Sure. You were just doing your job. Sure, just like I done them for you. Joe, we gotta come back with a dough. So go on in and bring it out the easy way. Otherwise, we got to go in and knock the place apart and get everybody excited. What if I don't come out? You'll come out in exactly 10 minutes. Teeter likes you, Joe. He said he'd stake you to five, maybe 10. He likes you, Joe, honest. I'll try to remember him on Mother's Day. You too, my friend. Yeah, if you last that long. Keep him company, Al. Hello there. Who's your friend? I'm just showing him around the place. I'll see you later. It's a date. Ah, uh, apple pie. My grandmother used to make apple pie, my favorite. The real way to make apple pie is just a touch of cinnamon. Not too much cinnamon, or you'll lose the flavor of the cinnamon. Shall the... we take the food into the dining room? Come on, make up your mind. I often wondered what these steel-plated heels were good for. Yeah, they're all over the place. Front, back, the Royal Guard. What's your game? I came to cheer you off. You also brought the cheering squad. I can also get rid of them. How would you like me to go to the phone? How would you like to hear the sweet wail of sirens and in five minutes the police have cleared the streets for you? You get to keep your dough, I get my story, and good luck to the both of us. Just tell me who the juice man is. Why don't you trade that twisted brainy I was in for a minute? Don't be stubborn, Miracle. You know, your partner was stubborn. Leo tried to... What were you saying? What's the matter? Did you run out of words, finger man?
It can't be good, Jimmy. Not if a man carries a pistol. Do we draw the line at who needs help? He's a veteran. It might be a war souvenir. It might but be... why wouldn't you report it? Discuss it with us, as we have for ever so long. I don't know. I can't understand those answers, Jenny, nor your behavior. You know we frown on the personal in our work. It is personal, isn't it? Send him away, Jenny. He'll bring you mischief. Mark my word. He's going away. Clara, none of the phones are working. The phones? Oh, my goodness. You said not to go too far. Those men, they're still out there. Yeah, I know that. Where is it? I would have called the police, only I wasn't sure that you... You're not going out there with that. I'll be all right. I'll send for you. No, Joe. There are too many of them. They'll kill you. I can take care of myself. I don't want you to kill anybody either. Look, will you stop worrying? If it's the money they want, let them have it. Money? That's a hundred grand. Don't give it to them. Give it to them? You don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about us, Joe. You and me. Sure. That's for you, too. I don't want it. I don't want any part of it. Give it to them. All I can buy you is a bullet. Maybe. Well, why should I give up a hundred grand without a fight? Because I'm asking you to. Well, ask me something else. There are kids out there. Somebody will get hurt. You don't want that. Not even for a hundred grand. Look, this is all I've got in the world. What about me? Are you forgetting about me? I love you, Joe. I told you that. That's got nothing to do with it. It's got everything to do with it. You've got to give it up. You better think of something else to ask me. Joe! The gym is on fire! building miracle that won't last 10 minutes. Whose brainstorm was this? Yours? It was an accident. We were just trying to smoke you out. Okay, I'm out. Yeah, but you can't let money burn, Joe. Not cash. I'd sooner let it burn than let you guys get a hold of it. Look, Joe, get it. There isn't time. What's the matter, Rainey? You got the sweats. Okay, you want it so bad, come on in and get it. going to be all right. That hard head of yours came in handy. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? You can hold your party in the gym just like you planned. The boys will clean it up. Of course, it won't look like the ballroom at the Hotel Wilton. Oh, thank you, Chief.
Jenny. Pretty awful, isn't it? Jenny, there's no good anybody being sorry about this. Jenny. Oh, Jenny, look at me. I can't. I can't look at you. I've got to believe it's only a nightmare. And you were just a part of the nightmare. Okay, if that's the way you want it. I didn't do this. I did. And I don't know how to undo it. I'll make it up to you somehow. It's too late. Go on, catch your boat or your plane. No, no, wait a minute. You got it all wrong. I didn't want this to happen. No. And you didn't want to use me or little Sonia. The way you use everything. People, places, words, everything for money. What's wrong with money? You. For money, you let this place burn. For money, you'd kill. You're just like all the others, and nothing can change that. What's the big rumble? This is just a building. They build them by the thousands every day. I told you I'd make it up to you. Well, don't you? I can't hear a word you're saying. You just went off the air. coming in? Stay just as you are, Tina, or you'll never get to finish that book. What's on your mind, son? A couple of old ladies and some kids. You won't get away with it. You hope, huh? Your boys have terrible manners, Tina. They didn't even say thank you, so I'm taking it back. Found you once, we'll find you. Where's the crank? I'm not gonna like this, Joe. Where's the crank? Do you want me to help you remember? It's on the shelf behind the books. You're being very young, Joe. Now, don't let that worry you. Slow down, Joe. Come here. Have an orange. It's good for you. Or some grapes. What kind of books you've been reading? We can't be good friends, Joe. Let's be good businessmen. We are. You just bought my end of the business. That's your receipt. Hello, sweetheart. You better listen to me, Joe. For your own good. We can make a deal. Like you did with Leo. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it, Tina. Tell me about it before I squeeze the rotten life out of you. It's about time somebody did. Who'd miss you, Tina, huh? Who'd miss either of us? Man, Tina. I don't 
kill for money. Don't press your luck, Tina. Santa Claus. What's going on here? Roadblock. They're searching the cars again. Say, so, uh, why don't you take the night off? Thanks. I had the whole year off. With pay. Get in. You talked me into it. Officer to spread a little Yuletide cheer. Merry Christmas, officer. You're a good soul. nothing anywhere more sacred than the individual. When there has been no place to run, they have come here. When they have left here, they have in some way been better human beings for it. But you all know that, don't you? I, Jenny, our head worker and friend, Miss Jones. <laughs> What's important is us, our being here together. And the things that bring people together are better than the things that keep them apart. It's only a building. Money can rebuild it. And what's in our hearts is better than a building or money. And not so easily destroyed. Not by fire, time, or anything else. Give what you can. Well, what are you waiting for? You heard what she said. Come on, let's give. Come on. A Merry Christmas, Rick. Merry Christmas, Sergeant. And even you. Merry Christmas, Judge. Merry Christmas, Sergeant. Oh, it's a fine and lovely thing, settlement work, Mrs. Fuller. Yes, indeed, Sergeant. 
I thought you said there wasn't going to be any collection. Come on, Judge, dig. 20 bucks or 20 days. every single word of that song. Would you believe it? What's happening? Oh, my feet are killing me. He ain't in there. And all the joint's full of cops eating up all the sandwiches. I told you he'd be nuts to come back here. Keep your eye on the door. Last Christmas, I bought my mother a bathroom. The old man complained it made her look like a prize fighter. Sandy Claus quintuplets with toys for the kids and everything. Oh, I don't go for them new skinny Sandy Clauses. Not me. Sandy, we fell off the chimney, and there he was all over the place, nothing but Grover Cleveland. Where is he? Who? The other one, the one who brought you. The charitable screwball? He's probably feeding the reindeer. <laughs> strangest places though. 